Hey, it's the return of Arnie Long. I am Arnie Long. I am comedian. I do impersonation Tom Beards. Here's Tom Beards. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm a soap star, and I'm hot. He is not. He is not a soap star. He has not been a soap star for so long, and he's not hot. He's old. Tom Beards is old. He's 60 years old. I do impersonation of Tom Beards. Hi, I'm Tom Beards, and I live in the woods with my dogs, and I love animals, and I write books. Nobody wants his book. Nobody cares who he is. He thinks he's so important. Uh, hi, I'm Tom Beard, and this is how I feel about politics. And this is, and I'm a vegan. Who cares if he's vegan? Say one time. Don't say all the time. Say one time. He's so stupid. Okay, uh, you may have figured out. It's really me, Tom Beards. This is my third day, Friday. I had two days ago, I had CO2 fractional something, alba, lister, I'll, I'll post it down there, a laser surgery over my entire face. <laughs> And I posted this picture that shows me Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And some people are like, you look great on Tuesday. Why are you doing it? Well, because in some lighting, I look close to 60, year old, 60 years old. Because I got a, line, a lot of lines here. A lot of lines here. And some here. And I didn't want that. And it's that simple. It's... I, as you know, I am always into affirmations. That's why <laughs> at the doctor's office, they said, we can't believe you're 60, Tom. You don't have 60-year-old wrinkles. Well, I don't. I mean, yeah, I've had minor surgeries before, but the point is, as my book states, there's a whole chapter on belief system. You know, uh, it is a system, and it is beliefs. And I believe that I should have everything. I absolutely believe I deserve everything, and I am privileged to have everything. I believe the same thing for you, by the way. I believe you should have everything, and you should be privileged as well. So it's not a selfish thing. It's just an innate belief system. Uh, so what they did, uh, you know, two years ago, I had a minor facelift. They just pulled up my mid face a little bit, but they didn't pull it up enough, in my opinion. And uh, I had my upper eyelids done, which they did great. And I had a little bit off my nose here and here because I was getting that old man nose. You know, some old men just get a bigger, bulbous nose at the end. And I didn't like it. Simply, I didn't want it. So let me have it. How do I get it away? And that's how. And then I also had minor skin, but it wasn't like this. I had said I wanted major skin, but they didn't do that. And I was disappointed in that. But anyway, when I had those procedures, I did not, I was not under anesthesia where I was lying on a table and totally unconscious because that would worry me. I, I would be afraid I would die or that people can die in that case. But what they did is they gave me some shot that absolutely knocked me out, absolutely sedated me. Now, people are supposed to be so sedated that they're gone and unconscious. I am resistant to all medications, it seems. And so, although I didn't feel pain, I was alert. I heard them and I heard them, okay, which most people don't. That is what, as one reason why this procedure was excruciating painful, because I had I thought I discussed with the doctor that I have to be sedated, because I've had, I've had a tattoo, which was extremely painful, extremely painful, and lino cream, lino cane, lino cane cream, didn't help. Linocaine shots didn't help. Didn't help. I felt it as if somebody was carving my skin away, which they were. And two days ago at this doctor, 
they assumed that, uh, no, we're just going to do our regular way, which is lino, cane, cream, heavy, very serious stuff. It's so serious that it can kill you. I mean, it's that serious. That's just the cream. And then the shots. So they put all this cream on me and then put all these shots, and these very painful shots, very painful shots, which are supposed to numb me. Then they also not only gave me one pain pill, but I said, you know, how painful the... Uh, tattoo was so they said you want another pain pill I'm like yes and I also took some homeopathic stuff and I also took some Valium none of it works for me I don't know why medications don't work for me as you know I'm really not for medications anyway and I never take medications I'm on no medications at all but those the numbing stuff didn't help and it was excruciatingly painful this laser surgery because what she does is I didn't see the instrument but I believe it's a small laser pen deep and it's just like scraping off your flesh you know and not just one two three four six places no this is probably thousands of times because she has to get every area so she's scraping you it feels like a razor blade you know like thousands of times and I was sitting up in a chair a little bit. No, actually, no. My head was not that elevated. I was pretty flat. I was pretty flat. And I would do this, uh, keeping my face straight, but I was clutching this, and my legs were moving wildly because I was in such pain. Uh, so my advice is, if you do this, see if you can be sedated. I'm not saying under anesthesia, I'm saying that thing they do where they give you a shot and you're knocked out and you don't feel a thing. That's what I will do in the future if anything like this comes up. So uh, I, it was, it's weird because in my life, I'm a non-violent person. I don't fight. I, I walk the other way. <laughs> Look. I live alone in the woods. I don't attract drama. I don't create drama. I don't indulge in drama. If somebody is acting immature or violent, I walk away. That's how I am. I've never been in a fight. It makes no sense to me. So I don't know what, what physical pain is like, really. <laughs> the only physical pain I've had is what I've paid for. And I did pay for this. 3000 bucks. And anyway... After, it must have been an hour of, you know, a thousand or more scrapes to your face, quick scrapes, you know, pulling off your flesh. After the doctor left the room and the helper was there, I don't know if you call her a nurse or assistant or what, I cried. I actually weeped, I sobbed, which I've never done before. I don't know if I've ever done it in real life. Yeah, I did that in real life when I lost my dog. But I've never done that about anything else. I really haven't because I'm a pretty rational person, with an optimistic rational person. But I weeped. And I told her it's like I've been raped, you know. I feel I can understand what it's like if I was a woman and for an hour somebody was raping her or assaulting her or even if somebody was just beating me in the head with a brick for an hour you know after it's done there's just this oh my god what happened oh my god what happened it was so painful it was so painful what I'm, what, what I'm still trying to figure out is could that could there also be a psychological reason for that sob and that release do wrinkles can memories can sad memories things we fixate on me I seem to be fixated on memories when I was in my teens and 20s around straight people where I didn't feel I fit in as a gay person and there were several themes of beauty or presence or, you know, I felt like I was invisible in those memories. And I wondered if those had 
began the wrinkling 40 years ago. And did, were those carved off my face, was there also a psychological grieving of release when you release something that you've held on to that long? I don't know. I don't know. So here I am two days later. What you doing, babies? These are my dogs. I'm not allowed to go in the sun, so they're limited on walks these next couple weeks. I'm supposed to stay out of the sun for two months, so we'll see how that is. I believe that I'm healing absolutely fine. I'm glad I did it, even if it was painful. But like I said, if you do it, you may want to check out sedation. Because I've heard from other people, it's the most painful thing. But this is not painful to me, and many people see the after days as being painful. This is no pain at all. So I don't think it's my pain threshold that is so small. I really think that my skin is super sensitive, which could have to do with me being a super sensitive artist or such a jazzed, electric, creative vehicle that is constantly creating and really up here, and I even talk to myself, you know, I do this, all this affirmational stuff where I'm so, I am so alive. <laughs> Maybe I'm more alive than most, and that's why it hurts so much. I don't know why it hurts so much, but it hurt like crazy. Uh, that's it. I just wanted to share where I'm at right now. I do think that it's going to heal very well. Uh, I think I'm going to really like the results. And again, what I'm hoping is that I don't look 60 years old in any lighting. You know, and that was showing here. That was showing a lot here. So we'll see. Thanks for listening. Bye. Okay, good, good. Look, oh, we got treats. We got treats. Oh, you got treats? Go ahead, get your treats. Get your treats. Good. Good.